Okay, so judging from the comments on the previous video, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that the majority of you all think that Hamura would get mid-diffed by Drake and Joe. That answer seemed to be pretty unanimous throughout the lot, okay? But th this week, I think I got a little bit more of a difficult matchup for Drake and Joe. We're still sticking with him. And I'm gonna pair him up against his, uh, his fellow Erasionses Galactica. Just one of them, though. So he's going to be going up against Nero. Emperor Nero. Who do you guys think would win in a battle between Drake and Joe, and I've said his name already three times, but Emperor Nero? Actually, I think that was the third time, but whatever. Now, I don't even know if I want to comment on this one, bro. I might just leave it up to the comments themselves, because I I don't know who wins that. Now, what am I saying, bro? I gotta get my two cents in. I'm going with Drake and Joe all the way. That alchemy is OP. And you think you're gonna beat him with some dice and a warp? No, sir. No, sir. But anyways, on to this cover page. We got Happy, and he's um participating in a festival, it seems like. And Moscow gets to be a kite. Cool? I guess. Anyways, though, uh, chapter 177 is entitled Holy Judgment. We're picking back up with Holy after the previous chapter ended. It ended off with her, so we're picking it up with her in this one, so let's go. Uh, what's your answer? What's your answer, you guys? What are you deciding? Is it yes? Is it no? I gotta know. Join forces? With the government? No, Shiki. This is obviously a trap. Don't let her fool you. Now, normally, I'd be 110% with Rebecca here. I wouldn't trust Holy whatsoever. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you, dog. But the thing is, is that, like, from a storytelling standpoint, that's so obvious, and that's so easy. It's so easy to make Holy betray the Eden Zero crew and try and entrap them. So I'm wondering, is Hero going to go with the easy route? And I'm thinking that he's not going to. I think that he's going to do something else with her character. I don't think that she's going to team up with them and betray them. I think we're going to get something new. Or at least that's the hope. Oh, don't be like that. Will you at least hear me out? You want to defeat Ziggy, and so do we. Still, we can't talk here. Okay, so actually, actually, I think this situation is a mirror of what's going on in 100 Years Quest. In that series, we currently have an uneasy alliance, a team up between Selene and the, uh, the Diablo Guild. So maybe that's what's going on. We're getting a mirror type of situation, and we're gonna have an uneasy alliance in, uh, in this series as well. Meet me at the rooftop lounge in one hour. She demanding, bro. Love to watch you leave, by the way. <laughs> I can't help it, Doug. Look at what she's wearing. Golly. Labilia, what's the matter? Are you still upset at what happened with the uh, the dudes and the bros? I, no, I can't call them bros. They're just dudes. Are you upset what happened with them? What's going on? Are you still upset by that or are you upset by something else? Labilia, are you okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get you wrapped up in all this weirdness. Dot, dot, dot. Shiki has come to my rescue yet again. What are you, crushing on him? She knows she is, bro. She ain't seen this dude in forever, and now she sees him three years later, and that boy built. Something's different about you. You too, Shiki. You look more grown up. Bro, what I say? <laughs> what I say? Damn! How are you doing? I'm all right, and you seem to be doing well. Hold up, hold up. What is this? Character development? How'd you change? When did you change? It had to be in the three years. Did you get humbled by her, uh, her glow up? Her come up? What happened? Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait, Lobelia, it's been a while since we've seen each other. How about we get together to talk later? Okay, so one of two things can happen right now. She can either revert back to her original self and just start yelling and making fun of Rebecca, or she can be like, yes, I'd love to do that. I'd love to talk and chat later. Well, Abelia, what's the move, dude? What you fitting to do? Option three, be depressed. <laughs> All right, I have nothing to talk to you about. On second thought, she's not different. Shaky, not even close to true. If this was the original Abelia, she would have started laughing, pulling pranks, doing the whole nine yards, making fun of her. No, sir, she ain't the same. No, she didn't even say one nasty thing. That's not like her. I wonder what happened. Bro, is it something more than a dying channel or what? Like, what's going on with you? Whatever it is, that thing got her depressed as all get out. Whoa, who'd have thought we'd find all this up on the roof? is a place with an air of luxury. Awesome! If I remember correctly, only the guests staying in suites have access to this lounge. And this is where we are to meet Miss Holy? Look over, wait, ho hold on a second. 
why aren't the shining stars here why did just the four of you come up did she not ask to see the entire crew i mean she didn't but like you didn't want to bring everybody okay look over there blah 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 <laughs> oh my gosh hero just flexing how bad she is <laughs> he like look at this badass hot ass character design i made gaze upon it oh you're early I'm so happy you came. There's sweet Weiss into your... <laughs> yeah, bro, I knew that was gonna get Weiss going. He was already with it after the come up out the water, but then she hit the sweet Weiss. He like, oh, <laughs> woohoo, what a dish. Dear Hamara, and you must be darling happy and lovely Pino. Please relax and make yourselves comfortable. We're here for business, and we don't mix business with pleasure. Get to the point, get to the arrangement. We're in a contract. Or we can have some delicious steaks and dinner and clams and shrimp and shit. Actually, hold on, bro. You telling me Holy can cook? Oh yeah, she a waifu. <laughs> and she making some delicious food too. Damn, oh, those are oysters. I'm so sorry. I didn't think you'd be here so early. I haven't finished cooking. Don't mind us. <laughs> Uh, Weiss and Shiki, the two sides of the male brain. <laughs> First, I want to make one thing very clear. I was not in favor of naming Sweet Shiki as one of the Horatio and Seis Galactica. I wasn't opposed either, which is to say I acknowledge Shiki's strength. Your powers are on the same level as dear Elsie's and the rest of the Galactica. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Obviously, there are going to be certain discrepancies between each member of the Horatio and Seis Galactica. It's not like a, like a set power level that all of them are currently at. There's some variables that make certain players higher than others, not in terms of like rank, but in terms of power. So even though he has been granted the title of Horatio and Zeus Galactica, I don't think that he's at the same level in terms of power with all of the other members. There's just no way. I'd say he's probably either on the same level as Elsie or a little bit below her. But that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong and Shiki could be the strongest one in the verse right now. Who knows? If we are to defeat Ziggy as well as the rest of the Galactica, clearly working together would be most efficient. But why would the Union Army? We, Horatio and Seis Interstellar, are a special team organized specifically to defeat Galactica. We have no commander and we are authorized to act on our own individual judgment. That's right. The OSI can basically do whatever they want as long as they still end up defeating the Galactica. And if they team up with a Galactica to defeat another Galactica, then it all works out in the end. Now, doesn't it? Ergo, we are free to team up with whomever we wish. Surely you don't believe everyone in the government is evil. In that same vein, I don't believe you are evil. You are buttering him and them up a whole lot right now. And I know that you kind of got to do that in order to get this whole team thing going, but this just makes that air of suspicion grow even more. That air of betrayal in the back of my mind, thinking that you're actually going to betray them in my mind, grow more. You get what I mean? That sentence was a little bit, uh, though. Like, you're making me think that you might actually betray them in the end. Which, I mean, is kind of inevitable if you're going to team up with them and your main goal is to defeat the Galactica. You're going to team up with the Galactica to take down another Galactica but the person that you're teaming up with is still a Galactica and your mission is to defeat all the Galactica, so you gotta defeat them someday. That's a good point. Shiki's sweating because he can't resist that delicious looking meal. The one below and in front of him, whoa. <laughs> Please help yourselves. Whoa, that looks good. Is it safe to eat, I wonder? Oops, I said that out loud. <laughs> I do not detect any toxic substances. This man is trying his absolute hardest not to mix business with pleasure but he can't resist that food bro i already know don't mind if i do yum and rebecca said screw it i'm hungry <laughs> happy too he said fish i'm going in oh my god now shall we get to the main order of business i assume dear hermit and your crew are listening as well uh <laughs> Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> she saw right through us i another fine looking one whoa <laughs> Hey, yo, Connor. That's so disrespectful. I'd love, ooh. Hey, can I get an invite? She's government. That woman, she seems nice, but I have my doubts. <laughs> my ultimate goal is to defeat Ziggy, but I have another objective as well. Wait a minute, I think I've been referring to Ziggy as a Galactica this entire time, but he's not, I don't think which is honestly kind of strange. Like, how did Shiki become an Horatio and Seis Galactica, but not Ziggy? 
who is like 10 times more powerful than him. <laughs> it's a bit strange, uh, but her objective is to track down dead end crown of the Eurasia and Sace Galactica and kill him with my own hands. This character design is musty, bro. How we go from Shura and Nero to this dude? Ugly bastard, dead end crown kill him that is unsettling and do you want us to help you i won't help anyone with murder <laughs> Damn, all right. Straightforward, though. Of course, I didn't mean to be so blunt. I can accept simply arresting him. He's sure to get the death penalty anyways. What did he do? I mean, I know he's a an OSG, but what did he actually do that would, would make him get the death penalty? Sorry, but that's not our problem. I wouldn't be so sure. You see, Crow is on the... What? Wait, I mean, he does kind of look like a robot, so it makes sense that Ziggy would allow him to be there because he's, you know, one of their kind. Ziggy wants a world with nothing but mechanical life forms. He would never team up with a human. Crow is an android. Yeah, that's obvious by the silhouette that was illuminated a little bit, but they couldn't see that, so it's understandable. Before Ziggy reawakened, he was considered the most dangerous android in the cosmoses. He instigated the bloody Atmos Day incident, which resulted in over one million casualties. Oh yeah, that'll get you the death penalty. <laughs> Damn, I don't like Crow's character design, but he seems like a menace, and I can't wait for the crew to go up against him. That monster thinks of humans as his toys, and that's reason enough for him to join Ziggy. I will help you defeat Ziggy, so I want you to help me defeat Crow. I need time to think about it. I'll go back to the ship and talk with my crew. You do that, but remember this. Whether your answer is yes or no, I will not see you as my enemy. Of course, that goes for precious little Elsie as well. I look forward to your response. Ah, bro, this is an interesting situation. But I think it would have been ten times colder if she had said something like, um, like, uh, I'll be awaiting your answer. But when the time comes to invade Lendard, just make sure you have another ally and not another enemy. <laughs> that would have been fire! That would have been fire, bro! <laughs> That kind of would have undone all the good faith she's amassed so far, so maybe it's better that she didn't say something like that. Wait, what the hell? What's happening to them? Why are they turning into goop? I wonder if my spell is working its magic yet. Let all the filth just melt away. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Shiki dear. I look forward to your response. And until I get it, Shiki. I'll go ahead and use you. What? Whoa, what? But that wasn't Shiki's power. He doesn't have the power to melt people. What are you talking about right now? Can she steal people's powers? Did she take Shiki's too? What's going on? Nah. <laughs> nah. Labelia? Maybe I do need a few minutes after all. Sure, of course. I have something very important to say, and I absolutely must... What? Did did Holy put something on her too? Oh, if it's Holy, they're going right back upstairs and whooping her ass, bro. <laughs> or does she have like a like a disease or something? What's going on? I love you to zero, bro. It just hands me a whole bunch of questions that I can't wait to have answered. But anyways, uh, now that we're at the end of the chapter, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.